Good evening everyone, Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week. We are just about back to the weekend again. Oh, how exciting. Anyway, I'm going to pop up my information. I am Sheila Genrich, scoghill4 at gmail.com. Facebook group is Boho Daydreams. And if you would like to join us over there, please feel welcome. Just make sure that you answer the questions because it's so important. Um, it helps us to determine whether or not it is a human or a spammer. And we wanna protect our group. So we ask that you will answer the questions, please. So uh, what we're going to do today, and we're gonna start, we're going to start one of these little interactive journals. And so for today, we're going to just get the, hopefully get the cover sorted out, hopefully. So this one belongs to someone. It's so pretty and they're so much fun um, and they're so easy to make. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna start that. So what you're going to need is your ruler uh, some sort of scoring device and a scissors. So you're going to need those. Then you're going to need your base. The, this is the skeleton of the journal. So this is your cover. And then I also have a spine because this is going to be a hidden spine. You will need your covers, whether you're doing... Um, cloth or paper, it doesn't matter. The procedure can be the same, um, but we're going to use fabric. So we're going to use this red velvet for the outside, and then we're going to use this for the inside. And I have a red tie and a red piece of ribbon, velvet ribbon. And then I have my focal point. I have my medallion, which I made um, today. Also, you will need, we're going to be using two pieces for the inside and the outside cover. This is steam -a -seam. So we're going to be using this instead of glue. So if you use this, then you will need to iron it because um, we want a piece on the inside and on the outside. And I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to need to iron, I mean, sorry, paint the craft text because it is a bit light, so I might need to paint it, but I'll find out when I put the steam -a seam on because that might hide the color a little bit. If I was gluing, for sure I would need to, um, I would for sure need to paint that. You can get craft text in white, and I do have craft text in white, but I don't know where I have it because it cleaned up. Also, for the cover, we're gonna need some type of lace. So I picked that, which is beautiful. They're all old, vintage to antique. There's this one, I love, I love this one. It's just so, ah, so pretty. And then I also have this, and this is an antique bodice from, from, a, from a lady's dress. I believe. Anyway, also pretty. So we're going to, first of all, get our cover scored. We'll measure it, and then we're going to score it. So this is my spine, and this is 10 and just shy of a half. So it's just less than 10 and a half. So it's probably more like 10 and two thirds. Anyway, I don't know why I cut it that width, but I did. So I want to have a one and a half inch spine. So I kind of, let me see. So you have to measure the center of it. And I kind of did that. So I think, let me just double check. All right, so I did. So I kind of, looked at it and said so five and a half five is ten and there and i want a one and a half inch spine so i'm going to and and this is just 
kind of, sort of. I should have had a pen with me. There, and then here's my spine. So I should have had a pen with me, but I don't, uh, something else with me to mark it, but I don't. So I'm just gonna kind of use my ruler here as the guide, because it is a straight edge after all. Sorry about my hands. There's one. And then I just fold it over like that. Hopefully, I'm not goofing it up here on camera. Let's see. Yep, that's good. And I just make sure, because I know this is square. I like the other edge better. I know it's square, so if I line it up like that, if you've been a quilter before, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and I know that this is square because I cut it on my board. There we go. And then we fold that side too. And even if we're out just a little bit, it's not gonna make that much difference. Because once you got your paper on it and stuff like that, or your fabric on it and get your paper in. So, ah, my, my, my lamp is falling, yikes. Boy, I hate when that happens. Yeah, it just wants to keep on falling. It's a little top heavy, I think. Okay. Ah! Ah. We're just going to re redo this. Oh my goodness, that lamp just wanted to fall all over the place. All right, so we're going to just fold that because we're keeping it all in one. So because I had to do a take two of this, because I messed things up a little bit, I had already torn my velvet. So I tore it to be covering all the edges. And it doesn't matter, it can hang over a little bit. That does not matter at all because we can get rid of some of that afterwards. Like that. So I want that on the outside. But what I'm going to do first is I need to. Wow. This craft text has a mind of its own. I bought this, oh my goodness, probably 10 years ago. Somebody used it, I bought it. Didn't even know what I was doing, but I did, I bought it. Anyway, such is life. So I have my, my, my craft text and my um, steam seam, and I'm just gonna cut it off. I just like to leave a little extra hanging over and now I'm just going to peel off the side that peels off nicely. Like that. I can get rid of the other piece. And I want to line this up. This goes on here like this. And it's just practice and patience to get it on there neatly. And you know, I should never be doing things like this on camera because trust me, I'm not that awesome to do stuff like this on camera. I haven't done any now. Stay down a little paper. Because I want it as close to the edge as I can get it so both edges have a little extra. And that's good, that's really good. All right, so now I want to check. Before I do anything else, I wanna just make sure that when I pull this off, that I don't need to that I don't need to be painting it. So it pulls off nicely because I might have to paint. And if I have to paint, then yeah, see how that shows through? I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to paint. So in that case, you will also need paint. Let's see, where do I have my little, my paint? right here. So I'm going to use this paint because it works really nicely for this. It covers things up quite nicely. And you might have to paint this piece too. Just the one side. Depends on what you're going to be covering it with. But chances are I'm covering it with something light. So 
then I'm going to need to paint that. So let's just paint now. And then we can go from there. Oh, here we go. There are some things that I can use to paint on. There. And my brush. And I even have this, just in case. I thought maybe the steam seam would be dark enough. And then it's going to be important to let it dry <laughs> before you go on to anything else. My goodness. I hope your January has been has been good. Did yours fly by like mine did? My goodness, I've been working on pink for the last couple of weeks and they're all done. I'm so happy. There's just a few packages that have to have extras added to them. But other than that, all the pinks are done. There's a few extra left over. So as soon as I have everything shipped out, then I can see what's left over and um, offer them up. If you don't see as much being offered up in YouTube or um, even in the group itself, it's because I have Patreon now and I always put everything into Patreon first. Um, it just helps the people that work and miss out on a lot of stuff. It helps them to be able to see exclusive things and to be able to shop leisure um, and get to see the first first previews and there is some amazing giveaways in there we're actually doing a really beautiful giveaway so if anybody wants to know more about that I'm going to link that in the description box too and everything that I'm using that I can link in the description box from Amazon I will do that too um, because the things that I do get from Amazon and I get over and over and over again because I really, really love them. They're tested and um, I purchase them so often because they're my favorite stuff. And I like to share that with you um, because then you know that you're getting something that I use all the time. It's my favorite. All right, so we're just gonna paint this one up here too. And then we're going to wait for them to dry. And you're not going to wait with me. <laughs> You're just, you could go have a coffee while I do that. Anyway, I will be back shortly. Okay, I think it's dry. I guess we'll find out when I try and stick the other um, steam seam on. I guess we'll find out if it's dry or not. Um, I, want to, I want to ask you to excuse the condition of my hands, please. I fell really, really badly um, uh, several days ago and I'm really thankful I didn't crush my wrists or break my knees um, and I cut myself pretty badly on my hands with what I felt and I bruised this up pretty badly and this was all bruised and as you can see like there's cuts cuts everywhere that are that are healing like all over the place so um, my hands look really really bad and then I was tea staining paper today so there's also that all right so let's see i'm going to try and pop this one on onto this side see if that's going to work because i only want to iron once because you have to be so careful with velvet velvet is very very delicate so this one is a little bit short, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be sewing anyway. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That looks really good. I guess we'll find out when, um, I guess we're gonna find out when I, when I try and iron it. All right, so we're going to add the fabric to this side first. So we're gonna peel this off. And if your velvet was light, say a light pink or something like that, you'd wanna paint this. But because it's red, I don't have to worry about it. So try and center it as best as you can. I don't want any wrinkles. I'm gonna flip it over 
Yeah, see I got lots on one side and not a lot on the other. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna flip it over and do it this way. Ooh, let's see, make sure I don't have paint on, on there. Oh my goodness, that's wet. I guess it wasn't all that dry. Hello? Doesn't matter because that's on that side anyway. But still, hello? All right, so that's good. Do you see how there's just a little bit of extra fabric all around? And then I like to just bend it where I would have the spine. Because now that I painted it, it kind of, um, kind of relaxed it. I guess I should have painted it first. Who knew? I haven't done enough of these to even know. All right, and let's see. I want my, let's see, which, which side is going to be up? Oh, yes. I love that a little bit is darker. It's so pretty. Let's see, I should have that on top. I should have it on the bottom. I'm gonna have it on the bottom. That's my bottom. I like that. All right, so I have extra. I'm just gonna kind of cut that, tear it. Give yourself a little extra because you can always cut the extra off just can't add the extra. All right, and that's, see how much nicer that is now that I painted it? It's so pretty. All right, so we're going to pull this off. There's nice, nice little foldy marks there. I'm not even, I'm not even going to try and fold that right now because I know what would happen. I just know. I would have it stuck together so quickly that you don't need to see me struggling any more than what you're seeing me struggle. I'm not a tutorial type of girl. And when you see these little strands, pick them off because you will see that later. Ask me how I know. I had to redo a cover just because of that. Oh, let's see. Do I like that? Let's see. It's not really, see, I can redo this. It wasn't really um, even. So I kind of would like things to be a little bit even. Yeah, hopefully it can be reach the top then. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See, that didn't get paint. And so that's dark, but that doesn't matter because that's where the spine goes anyway. So I'm going to go and iron this and then I'm going to come back and we're going to take a look at it. Okay, I am back and it really got some good, good grip and it's really nice, nicely adhered to. It's pretty solid. And when you're, when you're ironing this side, add a, a pressing cloth so that you're not crushing your velvet. It's really also important that you don't have anything laying on top of your velvet, even like um, thicker threads, or if you had, say, even a needle or a, a pin that kind of got stuck, it will iron into and emboss your your velvet and it kind of crushes it and you can't get that out all right so let me just check make sure that this still fits yep it's all good i can always cut it down a little bit if i need to good now before i do anything else now i lay it out like this and now i want to figure out what do i want to do with my cover. I know I want, I love the idea of lace. I love the idea of it. So let's see. I don't know if I want to put lace over the whole thing from front to back, but I know I want to do that. But I don't know, like I really like that, but I don't know if I like it with that. This can be added anywhere. You can add it here if you want. But I like it on the front. This is my focal point. And I 
don't know. Let me see what the camera shows me because it might be different. Well, it's pretty. I just don't know. Okay, let's try something else. And who knows, maybe what I have chosen here, maybe I don't like any of it. Who knows? Hmm. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is really old. No. Nope. I like it, but I feel like it's not wide enough. And maybe we don't even want that. Let's see which way it is. Yeah, it's this way. That's really pretty. Maybe we need to layer a little bit. Maybe I have to go looking. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. All right, I need to go looking for something else because I don't know how keen I am on just that. Like that, it just kind of isn't, isn't doing it for me. But let me see. I have this tie that can be woven through the through this medallion like that that's actually pretty and let's see what would that look like oh that might be pretty that might be really pretty okay now I have too much lace over in the back to see what it would truly look like. Oh, that might be pretty. I do not know. Help. I don't know. But it sure, that is really pretty. So, I need to, all right, I need to take this out because maybe I don't want it looking like that. Maybe I want it on top. Maybe I do want it on top. But I really did like the weaving it in and out like that. I did like that. Hmm trying to get it back together again to do that like that I really I like that like that I do I'm going to look for a couple of more pieces of lace to try before I commit okay so you know what I just really I love this lace I love it love it love it so I did I cut it off I held my breath. Georgian Anderson from Damsels and Lace should be so proud of me for doing that. Anyway, um, what I want to do now is I'm going to go and stitch it on. And then I'm going to cut off the, the bits that I don't um, need. So I'm going to stitch all the way around here like this, but I'm not stitching the bottom at all. I want it to, to be like nice and free. So I will be back with that. Okay, so I stitched around, I stitched around the uh, journal cover itself, but I didn't stitch the, the lace on. I tried, but I had to remove it because the lace is so incredibly delicate that it was just tearing. So I was pulling up the velvet underneath it. So I decided I am just going to leave the lace as is. I'm going to trim it off. I don't know if I'm going to tuck it under and leave it and incorporate it into the top or if I'm going to cut it off and I can do that later. But I decided, I love, love, love this lace that I am going to let it just hang like that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I might have to find a bit of something to to pop this onto because it's it's going to be very beautiful but now it probably needs 
Now it needs something extra. And I don't have that here. So we're going to leave it where it's at. I will attach this. Um, the next step is going to be finding our papers together. And that's simple because our papers are very, very easy. It's a naked journal. So that is what we're going to do next. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And uh, we will get back together again soon. Bye-bye.